Hello, good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to the Kamikaze Games. Buy a shirt in the description channel. Oh, man. And what a day it's been. First of all, I want to send a great, great big congratulations to my buddy, Joseph Lombard on NCSC4R, who is sponsoring Ryan Sieg this weekend at Auto Club. That's awesome, dude! Um, I guess I have to one-up you now, so I need to find my way onto a cup car, which means... Hey, Furniture Row, I know you watch my videos. Hey, let's work out a deal, eh? No, that's not the point of this video. You can probably tell by the title what is going on in this video. I got home from my TV production class. I strapped into the chair. Started typing up some bullshit, who knows. Open up the Discord, and what do I see? Ty Dillon's called me out. Oh, man. With them bants right there. Sorry for the language on this video, but can someone please find this guy and bring him to a race? Would love to change his opinions on at Austin Dillon 3, my grandfather and at NASCAR. Hashtag get him to the track. Hashtag come on out. That's a very flattering thumbnail, might I add. I mean, that I really went all out on that video right there. I mean, if you're serious about the offer, I mean, Martinsville is coming up. I probably am gonna have a test next week at some point, but fuck that Martinsville. So, basically I've been called out by, um, yeah, the guy that forced my second favorite driver out of a team that he built from a starting park into a perennial top 20 contender. And how many top 10s did he get in the last year? No. Well, that's not all that happened, obviously, because if that's all that was happening, I mean, the video would be done by now, but we got some spicy stuff to talk about in the comment section, or the replies, I guess, if this is the Twitter that we're talking about. Let's get on. Let's get this show on the road. He's troubled. He needs meds and a shrink. Or Pop Pop to take his rings and Rolex off and put a few knots on his nogging. Nogging? It ain't Christmas, okay? We ain't nogging. And yeah, about those rings. All those rings, you know, all those championships that Dale got him before the vast majority of the next card of the end, basically. I mean, there's fucking guys in the Cup Series now that weren't even alive the last time that Richard Childress won a championship in Cup. That dude needs anger management and be put on a FBI watch list dot wall. I'm not about to bomb a fucking school. An FBI watch list? What the fuck are you on? I made a video where I yell in the backseat of my car and you want me on an FBI what? This is the American Educational System at work, I swear to fucking God. Ha ha, this guy. Austin is a truck series champ and a nationwide champ. That's earning your ride in my book. Yeah, that ride that he was given because he's the son of Mike Dillon and that truck ride that only existed while Austin and Ty were coming up through the ranks. Yeah, that, that three truck in trucks could have really been a great team to develop some future talent around, but then it disappeared after Austin and Ty were done in trucks. That is so suspicious. That dude needs to just stop watching NASCAR dot dot dot. Pathetic and stupid is what he is dot dot dot. Needs his mouth washed out and someone needs to put him over their knee and whip his behind dot dot dot. That just sounds kinky. Is this your fetish? Bud hyphen. Please don't waste your time on this fella. He is and some kind of fan hyphen. He has a lot of data stored in that complex brain. I'm just gonna take that as a compliment. You, Austin, your pop pop, RCR, the number three, and your legacy is yours and your devoted fans to praise and enjoy. What legacy? Austin's won two races. 
in nearly four years of being a cup driver. Holy shit, the next fucking Richard Petty over here. Well, obviously he hasn't done any research on the Dylan boys. If he would, he'd know that they busted their asses on the short track's dirt, and they worked their way up the ladder, earning wins and championships along the way. Yeah, Pop Pop helped them, but they earned their rides. Yeah, he totally didn't have any help. It's not like his... Granddad owns a cup team with the resources to build a fantastic dirt and late model car. It couldn't possibly be that. Poor guy, not playing with a full deck hyphen delusional. Must be a Hillary Clinton fan as well. <laughs> if nothing else, he's passionate. Unfortunately, these are the types of tirades that will put you on one of those watch lists. No fucking wonder all these terrorist attacks and school shootings are happening. If this is what the FBI focuses on their watch list, some asshole in South Dakota who doesn't even own a fucking firearm, then no fucking wonder this country's in shambles. So this was fun and all. So this was fun and all, and I mean, it proved to be a couple of uh, lol-worthy moments, but at the end of the day, there's obviously a real reason why this video was made, and it wasn't just because a stupid comments video hasn't been made since December, right? There's... Oh man, there's more to this story than you think. Apparently Ty wasn't lying when um, he said he wanted me to go to a race, because he actually commented on the video with his verified YouTube account, I have more s I'm not gonna go there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Hey, I'm personally offering you to come to the nearest track to you to change your opinion on me and my family. If wrong, you're bold enough, you'll do it and won't hide. So I guess he's legit about it, so I guess I'll give him that much. At least he's not like a lot of the people on the internet who say they'll do something and then do something completely different. So I responded by saying that the closest track to me is probably Chicagoland, to which he responded, See you there, DM me when you get there. I don't think that was the deal. I live in ND, dude. I'm not driving all the way out there. As of the recording of this, I haven't gotten a response since, but I can kinda see between the lines here. And I now realize that he wasn't offering me the opportunity to come meet him and his family and prove that they're not spoon-fed. But he decided that he was not going to actually throw the offer of travel. And I understand if you don't want to pay for the uh, race ticket to someone who just called your entire family a bunch of losers. I understand that. But you can't say that I'm backing off if I legitimately just can't even go in the first place. I am a fucking college student. I have... I don't even know. I'm, I, could t I don't even know how much money I have to my name, but I can tell you how much fucking debt I'm in. I can tell you that much. The excitement on Twitter didn't end with that. In fact, I was the first one to actually respond. Well, one of the first, anyway. Hi, Ty, I made that. If it makes you feel better, I think you're more talented than Austin. I used to think that. I've kind of changed my opinion in recent years, but, you know, it could kind of go either way at this point. But you just said that all drivers across all series are trash, but now you're gonna backtrack because Ty Dillon responded? Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I can twist a darn thing. And now, because a race car driver may be nice to you, you're totally backpedaling. It's super weak, dude. It's time to expand your vocabulary with Kamikaze Games. On today's episode, we're gonna figure out some synonyms for weak. The first synonym for weak is feeble. The next synonym for weak is frail! You get the idea. If anyone's weak here, it's you because you're literally saying the exact same thing over and over. So, and yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's tough to admit when you're wrong, isn't it? And the bants don't stop there! About an hour after this whole tirade started, I received an email on my Gmail account. Dear Kamikaze Games, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. Oh! Yeah, this isn't actually on the video that was um, posted to Ty's Twitter account, but the timing is just a little suspicious. I know correlation doesn't equal causation, but in this situation... <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that um, Ty called me out. Bro! You wanna fucking throw down? I know Richard Childress has put Kyle Bush in the face before. I mean, we can fucking do this. I'm getting in shape. I'm to that point in weight loss where none of my pants actually fit anymore, alright? I am getting to the fucking pinnacle of my human health, alright? Let's fucking roll, man. Let's fucking roll. Oh! Uh... Some of my L'Oreal viewers have decided to set up a GoFundMe account to get me to the Chicagoland race weekend. Oh boy. I know this may seem pretty petty and all, but all things considered, I want to do this. I've never been to a NASCAR race because I live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere and the closest track to me is over 300 miles away. Which is why... I know it may seem dumb to give me a GoFundMe, but I mean, for God's sake, EDP has done this in the past just to get to football games. I mean, come on now. I only really need the ticket. I really only need the ticket and fuel here. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for much. Um, if the goal is not reached and I can't make it to Chicagoland, then, um, I would like to uh, donate everything that was... I, I, I First things first, I'd like to give everything back, but if that's not possible, I'd like to donate all of the proceedings to a charity of Ty Dillon's choice. And if we go over the amount, then we'll take all the funds and we'll take the trip there and what's ever left over after we're done, then we can send that to a charity of Ty Dillon's choice. That's basically where I would like to go in this situation. So once again, congratulations to Joseph Lombard on his sponsorship. Hey, remember that part from 20 minutes ago? Yeah, and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.